Hello friends. In today's video, I'm going to talk about <coughs> transparency in colors, some conditional formatting and the visualization. The reason for today's video is a somebody posted on community forum that he does not, uh, that the user does not want to show the visuals on the page until a value is selected on the slicers. There are many um, topics and blog posts uh, are already available on this uh, conditional formatting and the transparency color. But here I'm going to walk through how we can achieve uh, that without, if, if no value is selected in the filter, then don't show the visuals, show the message. But as soon as a value is selected, show the visual but at the same time the key here is that the visuals are clickable it's not like uh, visual you cannot click the data point let's get to power bi build this from start and go step by step here i have a power bi with few visuals in it uh, one two kpis showing sales and quantity and then sales dollar by uh, date or month and I have two slicers on the page. So the ask here is, if no value is selected in any of these slicers, let's say if no country selected, no state selected, or one item is selected, does not matter which slicer, only then show the visuals, show the data, otherwise don't show the data. So that's the ask. Um, to, to make it work, first we will create a measure to identify to identify if a selection in these measures or these slices has been done. So we can write a, um, a measure to check whether a value has selected in the slicer or not. So let's say we can call it selection flag. Make it bigger and or maybe call it is selected and then what we need to do is use one uh, has one filter function on our country which is on a geography table and or because we want to check in either the state is selected or country is selected has one filter on state uh, geography state so this will return true or false. Uh, let's check the value for this uh, measure here. Just put in a KPI. So currently it is false uh, since no value is selected. And if I select Australia, it goes to true because now one value is selected or I select in um, Alabama then it's true so it means this is returning us based on the selection on the uh, on the slicer so that's the first part now the second part what we're going to do here is um, create a a value message what we want to show if no selection has been made so let's create another measure and call it maybe not selected message. So what we can do is we can check here if uh, is selected is true, it means one of the values selected, then we don't want to show the message, but otherwise we want to show the message select whatever message you want to put. So if we now use this as our, see this in the measure as uh, in our KPI as well. So pretty straightforward. Uh, Note selected message. Change the size to small so that we can see the full um, 
maybe 20 same with this 20 so as we select a slicer value the our select node selected message is uh, giving us a empty blank value otherwise if um, no value selected showing the message so that that's working as expected now what we need to do is first we need to uh, then one more thing we need to do is to create a a color a for conditional formatting where we will set the transparency based on again the the selection so let's say we call it uh, another measure we call it not selected background color so the hex code is made of eight um, characters so the six one are the color actual color this one is white and the last two are the transparency of, of the color so zero zero is hundred percent transparent and um, and and there is a there's a chart where you can see the depending on what transparency you need but in our case we just need a 100% a, uh, transparency. So what we can do is we can concatenate this with the transparency. We say, okay, if a value is selected, then we want the color to be, uh, the transparency to be added to this. So this is going to be zero, zero. It means we don't want to show the message. So we will, we will, uh, we will see it in the action. Uh, then it will be more clear why we are doing this so that's our background color now so three things we have done we first created a, a measure to find out whether a value has been selected in the slices or not then we created a measure for the message depending on if no value selected made it blank and then the third one is we created a a color and uh, let's test this color part first we we are going to add another KPI here so let's bring this KPI here in the middle and the value we're going to say not selected message uh, sorry this one not selected message okay so that's the message so we, we can we should um, turn off the category label we are not interested and uh, the background of this if we see in the effects is uh, white right now this is where we're going to use the conditional formatting and we're going to use the measure which we already created so let's uh, uh, put the conditional formatting and go with the field value so I think I call it not selected background color and so that's what we need to do here so now no value selected the background is white as you can see if I select a value the the message disappears because now there's no message and the the background color is also transparent at this point of time so this is again working as expected so that's the that's the first part what we need to do is we need to cover this our all the visuals with this message with kpi card i'm sorry uh, so we can select this one and put it on top of everything so that it covers the whole uh, all the visuals and one critical step what we're going to do here is we're going to send this as at the back we don't want it to be in the front of the visuals because if we keep it in the front we will not able to click the data points for example if i click click in australia now my my message goes away that the it doesn't show the message box the kpi card but i cannot click the data point because the card visual the kpi card with the message is on top of these visuals so what we need to do is um, go into the view selection pane and our card is selected it's we can give the name to this and bring it all the way at the at the bottom because we want it to be the last one so it means it's a uh, it is at the end so it is behind those visuals so now if I click I can click the data point if nothing is selected uh, my message 
um, is showing up, but because now it is in the behind the visuals, we cannot see it. The one critical component, another we are going to do is all the visuals we will select and then we will set the background color for these visuals. Oh, sorry, I think we have to have to collect, select the same type of visuals. So KPI card, go to this and then go in journal and in effects, we're going to say, okay, the background color of this one is no background color. So basically we don't want the background color and same with our bar chart. So now, as you can see, our visual, our message is showing up. If I, um, this is correct, the message showing up and um, all the, it, it, it is in behind, I can still click the data points. If I select Australia, uh, then it, it disappears. So, so this is working. Now, the last part of this is, uh, there are a few ways to do that. But now these value, values are showing in our visual, the bar chart is showing. What we can do is um, we can make our um, measures to not return any value when uh, there's no um, slicer value selected. So what, what we need to go, go to our sales visual and we can have our uh, a condition here, if is selected, then only return the value. Otherwise, don't return the value. So right now the 59,000 will disappear in a blank, right? Because um, it's not returning any value. Uh, same with the quantity we need to do. And as you can see the bar graph, the bars are already gone. And the final step, what we're going to do is, it, it's not straightforward, but this is unfortunately what we need to do. So uh, we need to create another color and uh, I think I will call that color uh, visual color. Or So what I want to do is if selected, then the color will be, okay, actually other way around, I can say, okay, if not selected it, and uh, it's no value selected, I want the color to be white which is again uh, FF, otherwise uh, nothing, whatever the default color is will be used. So the visual color is what we're going to control each visual. So go to the visual and what I'm going to do is I'm going to search here ab about the, each visual has different um, um, text written in different places. So what we're going to search here is a color and then we give the conditional formatting for the color. So we say FX, click on FX. And in this particular case, in field value, we will use visual color. Okay. And as you can see, it disappeared because uh, when the no value is selected, the color is white. So basically our value is in the white color now. And same what we need to do is with the color label as well uh, for this. So we go, visual color okay so now it looks like our kpi is not showing any value if i select a value here australia our message disappeared and our sales shows up so everything the same thing we need to do for each visual to set the visual color to um, to the measure and i have a working copy of this already i don't want to go through and set the color for each um, each visual. So here is my, my page, the final output. So same three uh, visuals are there. So select a value to visualize the data. So right now it does not show anything. And if I select Australia, uh, my visuals disappears. It shows the KPI and it also shows the uh, uh, bar chart. I can click on any data point. It's not like uh, these are not clickable. And if I don't uh, select country it disappears and now we can control um, the visuals based on the uh, selection and we can hide all the visuals to recap we created four measures uh, one first one is filtered is selected to check if any value in the slicer is selected or not second uh, to to show the message and uh, we checked is selected measure in there, true or false. 
Third, we created a background color mayer uh, to condition format our message KPI card. And fourth, we created a mayer for the visual colors, again based on the is selected. And we use that for conditional formatting of all the labels or the text on each visual so that they don't show up. One thing I want to add here, this technique will not work for map visual because map has its own background. It shows the map at, uh, at the back and the UV cannot control that, right? So if you are using the map visual and if you want to use this technique on map visual, unfortunately that is where it will not work. But most of other visuals uh, where we have the ability for conditional formatting to uh, set the text, um, conditional formatting uh, to set the color of the visual, uh, we will able, we can use this technique. I hope you find this video useful. Uh, it's no very common request, but I have seen this on the community forum a few times. So I thought to do a video and where you can actually hide the visuals and when the visuals are available, it is a clickable visuals. It is not like that you cannot click the visuals. Basically, um, this gives like a best of both worlds. You can hide and at the same time, you can click the visuals when they are available. I will be doing another video on conditional formatting. Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. Until next video, have a good day. Bye for now.